Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Minecraft that I'm playing, the full released version 1.0.0. And given that, I'm making a Let's Play series in which I will be building cities, which is a bit different than what uh, most other people do, and yeah, it's all good. And the reason why I do this is what I normally do in my single player. And I just, ever since I was a kid and played with Legos, I enjoyed building, like, cities out of blocks. And I can do that in Minecraft. So that's... Oh. So an interesting starting by... Oh. Ow. Interesting starting biome. Uh, go ahead and punch some trees. Uh, unfortunately... I know that, uh, the beginning of, like, every Let's Play is punching trees, so... It's very difficult to make that interesting, so I would just consider this the awkward first date. Uh, unless you've already seen my videos, uh, what I've done previously was mostly uh, videos of the multiplayer that I play on. But this is going to be different. This isn't going to be so much of a tour of uh, other things people have built, and but mostly uh, me building cities. Uh, these first few uh, episodes aren't going to exactly be me city building yet, so I'll have to gather a substantial amount of resources. And I mean, I'm not gonna make 20 videos of me cutting down wood and getting stone, but I'll, these first couple, I'll get you guys oriented on what I do, and it will still be interesting. I've got so many sheep right here that I really just gonna have to murder because I don't have any shears. I'm not gonna talk about why I'm not wearing a shirt. I keep on forgetting to forgetting that I have that like that. And now these sheep must die. If I don't kill these sheep, I will not be able to sleep tonight. And I'll be able to sleep. Oh, ow. What I really need is like chickens or cows or something. Because I need food. Oh, look, there's more sheep. Let's just forget them for now, though. Uh, what else do I need? A shovel. And a pick. That's all the essentials I need at the moment. Now I need food. Uh, I really don't want to make mushroom soup because it doesn't stack. I hear you can... Cool, yeah, you can stand on those. Uh, oh, look, snow is back. Hooray. A swampy snow by... Ooh, cows. A swampy snow biome, that's pretty cool. And chickens. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'll take these flowers as well, because I always pick up red roses. Because I always need them later on. And I always end up not having enough. I want feathers too, so they're kind of hard to get now that zombies don't drop them. And let's go back to the swamp area. It's actually really uh, nice to me that I spawned in a swamp area because uh, I find swamps to be one of the better places to spawn or have nearby because the trees never grow too tall. You can always cut them down without having to like make a dirt pillar and there's also clay so that's all very nice so now I need to get stone so I'm gonna make a little base here Alright, well 
only got as much of that cleared out as I could, but the primary point of that was to make stone tools. And while I am doing that, I would like to mention some of the things I'm going to, I don't need to show yet, do that's sort of how my viewers can interact with this Let's A Play. Let's a play. Let's play. I need that back here. Uh, is that uh, when I build like houses in my cities, um, I'll like number them like 1A, 2B, and people who leave the a comment below are like, hey, I want 1A, and I'll say okay, and whatever that YouTuber comment person's name is, I will replace the 1A with their name. And likewise, maybe uh, I'll do even something more special for my subscribers, because I am grateful to them. Without them, there would be really no point to me making these videos. I'd be kind of wasting my own time. Although I enjoy making these videos. And so maybe I'll like name National monuments after them. That'd be cool. Oh, I need a stone axe because I need coal, so I'm gonna have to make charcoal. But I can cook these food with that. That'll help me for now. And. I really think uh, this location I'm at right here is a good place for the starting town. So, oh, looks like I was a little bit wrong. There was a tree tall enough. Too tall. The starting town. Uh, but first, before I even build a town, I need to get this base set up safe enough for me to get the enough resources to where I can actually start building that town. I always start by building a town hall. Well, that wasn't very much, but that's to be expected. And... I don't know how much that's going to take. But I am hungry, so... So I think what I'm going to do next is try and gather some seeds so I can make a farm. And I haven't done this city building thing for a little while since I actually started playing multiplayer a lot. You know, I had to balance my time between the two and just the way that uh, the previous versions of the game were kept changing. I kept having to start over. So this is the first I've uh, done any city building in about a month or two. I got plenty of sheep, I can probably make, uh, you know, a pen for them, so that I can breed them. Ow. I need more seeds. That'll be good enough for now, I think. And just in case I can make some mushroom stew. Uh, I don't really like mushroom stew, because really clogs their inventory. I like bread the most, so that's why I'll be making a wheat farm. And I think I need to find a cave is what I need to do. And, oh, base is over here. Because not only do I need coal, I need iron to make a bucket. There's some charcoal. Uh, actually, I should stick to my priorities and make some torches to light up this place, and then a bed. But probably one of the first things I'm going to do off camera is cut wood, because wood I'm going to need a lot of. And I'm going to be doing this pretty much mod free. Um, maybe later on the exception might be tree capitator. Because uh, when you think about it, it's not 
It kind of is, for Minecraft, uh, an exploit, but when you think about it, that's it's kind of more realistic since when you cut the bottom of a tree in real life, the rest falls down. I know it's, you know, not iconic Minecraft to have trees that don't float, but that's just the way it is. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to really hinder this Let's Play. I'm not going to, like, install any mods where, like, anything has dr double drops. I'm not going to do that. But Tree Capitator is the only thing that I'm considering uh, installing, because wood cutting with city building, as I've done it before, it takes, you know, hours and hours and hours. So, I'm going to be doing that off camera. And anyways, we've come to about 10 minutes, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave any comments below if you have questions or comments, that's why it's got the comment section. <laughs> and thank you for watching.